Hello my dear Vidyanjala, it's welcome back to our English class. Yesterday we learned the lesson, right? Did you understand the lesson? Yes. Today let's develop our reading skills. For that you have to open your English textbook. Okay? Textbook page number 28. Some apples please listen. Yesterday we did this too, right? Now page number 29. Have you all opened? Yes. There is an old saying, when there is a will, there is a way. If you really want something and work hard for it, you will get it. Read this retelling of an English folk tale to see how a woman gets what she wants by being kind and helpful. That we saw yesterday, right? The old woman was so kind and helpful and she fulfilled her desire. Yes or no? Yes. Let's start our section 1. Section 1. This happened a very long time ago in England. There was a little old woman who lived in a little cottage in a village. Observe students. This is not cottage. This is cottage. The word which ends with A-G-E must be pronounced as A-G-E. Okay? Cottage. What is this? It's not village. It's village. Okay? Cottage, village. So, who lived in a little cottage in a village? One day, she wanted to eat an apple pie. What is apple pie? A baked dish. Okay? Baked dish with apples. The more she thought about it, the more she wanted to eat an apple pie made of juicy red apples. But she had no apples. She had a pear tree full of ripe yellow pears and a plum tree full of juicy red plums. She has two kinds of fruits, pears and plums, but she did not have apples. But how can one make an apple pie with pears or plums? And the old woman longed for an apple pie. She had those two types of fruits. But she do not want that. She doesn't want that. What, what did she want? She want an apple pie. Then how can she make with those two fruits? See, I know what to do. I'll take some of my plums to, to the market and get apples in exchange for them. Exchange means giving one thing and receiving one thing. Suppose you have chocolates, I have biscuits. Okay, I want chocolate. Then I should give one biscuit to you and you will give me one chocolate to me. Okay, you will give me one chocolate. That is called exchange. Okay, exchange means there will be no involvement of money. Only goods will be transferred. Understood? Yes. So she set off with the plums in a basket on her arm. As she walked along the road, she heard a lot of cackling and quacking. She peeped over the hedge and saw a young woman trying to herd a flock of hens, ducks and geese. Students here heard. Last time we learnt, what is this? And we learnt this one also, flock. Flock of birds, flock of hens. What is this? Parts of speech of this, can you tell me? Herd of cattle, that means group of cattle we can say. Flock of birds, flock of hens. That means collective noun. What is that? Collective noun. Group, okay? Okay? Yes. She peeped over the hedge and saw a young woman trying to herd a flock of uh, hence, ducks and geese. The young woman looked up. Then what happened? Hello, she said. Aren't these birds noisy? Yes, after listening that cat, uh, quackling, cackling and quacking sound, she said that. Aren't, aren't the birds noisy? She asked. Then the young woman and the old woman started talking like old friends. The old woman showed the young woman the plums and said, how much she wanted to eat an apple pie. Yes, she carried the plums uh, in the basket, no? She showed those plums to the young women and said, I have plums, 
but I want an apple pie. I want some apples and I wanted to eat an apple pie very much. Oh, said the young woman, my husband wants to have plum jam and I have no plums at all on the farm. I would love some, but I have no apples to give you. I can only give you a bag of feathers in exchange for them. Yes, what the young woman said? Yes, I want some plums because my husband wanted to eat a plum jam. But I don't have plums on my farm. So, can you uh, please give me uh, those plums? But in written, I don't have apples to give you, but I have feathers to give you. Okay? Yes. Well, said the old woman, looking at the juicy red plums. I suppose at least one of us will have our wish. What did, she, what did she say? Of course, my wish may not be served right now. But one of, that means your husband's wish will be served now. Okay, take off and give me the feathers she took. What happened? Let's see. So, she gave the plums to the young woman and took the bag of feathers and put it into her basket. At least the feathers were lighter to carry. Plums are heavy in weight, no? Whereas feathers are less in weight. So she thought of at least weight has been decreased. Ah, then she set off once more for the market, hoping that she would get some apples for the feathers. The road was long and she walked until she came to another farm. The most delicious smell came floating out of the kitchen window of the farmhouse. The old woman stopped at the gate to smell the fresh bread and cakes. As she stood there, she heard a man and a woman quarreling loudly. Quarreling means discussing, arguing, angry. They were angry, uh, arguing. For what? Yes. It is best to stuff a pillow with straw. Said the woman in an angry voice. I don't think so. Cotton is best. Isn't it much softer? Said the man in an angrier voice. Yes, they are quarreling to stuff a pillow. The wife, the lady uh, was saying that straw is better. That means grain crops like that. Okay, dried stalks of grain crops like wheat. Okay, uh, whereas the gent, the man was saying that no, cotton is much softer. No, let us use cotton to stuff the pillow. Then, I don't think so. Ah, hello, said the old woman. The woman and the man turned to look at her. Oh, would you please help us settle this? Yes, the couple asked the old woman to solve the problem. Is it better to stuff a pillow with straw or cotton? They asked. We can't agree, said the woman. Oh, neither. Neither means not both. Okay, now? Ah. Oh, neither, said the old woman. That means not straw. And also not cotton. But what? I would stuff it with feathers. Feathers make the best pillows. What did she say? Neither straw nor cotton. But what is the best? Feathers are best way to stuff the pillow, she said. Oh, but we don't have feathers, the couple said. Said the couple sadly. That is hardly a problem. Answered the old woman quickly. She gave the bag of feathers to them. Yes, she carried the feathers, no? Then immediately she gave the feathers to that couple and said, Don't feel bad, I have feathers. Oh, thank you, said the couple. I would love to have some apples in return, said the old woman. We have no apples, but here is some freshly baked bread. Okay, do they have apples? No, they do not have apples, but they have delicious baked bread. So they gave off that. Said the man and gave her two large loaves fresh from the oven. It's not oven, it's oven. Okay? O-V-E-N. It's oven but not oven. Okay. Well, at least I can have bread and soup for dinner. Thought the old woman. Even if I didn't get any apples, I did stop the quarrel. Again, what did she think? Okay, I did not get apples, but for supper, I can have bread and jam. Bread and jam. But, I still
stop the quarrel of the couple. Yes or no? She stopped now? Yes. Section 1 we have successfully finished. Now there is an exercise regarding section 1. Let's solve that. And tomorrow we will uh, go through section 2. Okay? Yes. Come on. Okay. Textbook page number 32. Your teacher will read out section 1. Listen and tick the correct words to complete these sentences. Okay. I read section 1 right now. And you listened. Now you have to give me the answers. Right? Okay. First one. The old woman did not have flour, apples, plums. What, did, what she did not have? Apples. Very good. Second one. The old woman had plums, butter, apples. At first what, did, what she did have? Uh, she has plums. Yes or no? Yes. The old woman took a basket of plums because she thought she could exchange them. Sell them, gift them. Yes, students, you have to observe one thing. Exchange, there is no transfer of money. Gift also, there is no transfer of money. We don't exchange, we don't give any money in these two cases. Whereas sell, yes or no? We give money and we take the object. Good, that is called sell. Here, exchange them or gift them. What is the answer here? Yes, she thought of exchange that uh, basket of plums with apples. She thought of. Okay, let's move on to fourth one. She exchanged the plums for feathers, jelly, corn. Feathers, very good. She then exchanged the feathers for, she gave the feathers to couple, to, uh, to stuff a pillow. In exchange, what did they give? Straw, bread, cotton. Bread. Is it clear? Yes. I hope you understood section 1 very clearly. And tomorrow, let us read section 2 and do an exercise regarding section 2. I hope you understood the class. That's for today. Bye-bye.